the wine lovers i'm going through some of my recent blind tastings of um, bordeaux 2016. this is chateau de la Grenière. we are in lussac saint emilion and um, this is um, the chateau de la Grenière. is a classic blend of uh, merlot cabernet sauvignon and cabernet franc it's showing a um, nice purity here with uh, I love this uh, wild berry fruit. There's plum, cassis, rather mild oak, not a lot of new oak here with a uh, fine level of spiciness. Palate is certainly full bodied. Good purity of fruit here, with a very juicy and digest dark fruit. It's a high extract, but really no hard edges. Um, we have the crushed berry fruit with a good grip and, uh, and length. Ideally, this should be aged for another one to two years before opening up and then it should keep for another 10 years. Chateau de la Grenière, Cuvée de la Chartreuse, which is a wine which is showing a bit more of the oak, slightly darker, more structured fruit, but still also showing a, a bit more youth, needing a bit more time to open up. Um, ripe dark plum here with cassis, some floral hints, a bit more of oak, but still not too much of it. This floral dark fruit is still dominating with a very dense palate. Higher extract here, still appearing a bit youthful and tight, but uh, digest dark fruit here with a fine acidity underneath and uh, keeps lingering. So really good length, but still a preponderance of tannin and a wine that I would put back at least for another two to three years and then should keep for 10 or 12 more. So. Nonetheless, two fine examples from uh, Lussac Saint-Emilion.